<laughs> Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Can I sit down? Please, please, have a seat. Make yourself at home. Yeah, overcry. I'm going to... Uh, I'm going to jump into the intro here. <laughs> well, nobody told me to do the intro anyway. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm, I'm Andrew Bancroft, and today I will be hosting an interview for Dig Dialogue, a series of interviews with leading newsmakers that give the 36 million members of Dig the opportunity to submit and vote on the burning questions they want answered. So we are currently taping live at the Roosevelt Hotel in Hollywood, California. And I am honored to introduce our guest, uber-famous Austrian model and host of fashion and celebrity show Funky Zeit, Bruno. Bruno, welcome. The past few days, we've received almost 2,000 questions for you from the Dig community. But I've, I'm, you know, I've got time for about 1,000 of them. Okay. You know, right. but not 2,000. That's so much. And I also heard that due to previous incidents with both Kevin Rose and Fish Sticks, you're not at liberty to answer all of them, but we'll be, we'll be uh, tackling some of the most popular ones today. And Great. we really appreciate you taking the time because we, we realize you have a very busy schedule What with the uh, release of your new movie. Congratulations. No big deal, Vasef. It's just the movie starring me, about me. <laughs> Can't wait to see it. So, yeah, uh, it's, it's the most powerful documentary made since The Lion King. Well, without further ado, if you're ready, would you like to get into these questions from the Dig users? Go for it. Okay. Question number one, submitted by Dark Zeus, with over 853 digs. If you had a chance to go on a date with Kim Jong Il or Mahmoud Ahmadinejad, who would you choose, and what would you do? Be specific, please. I'm not that into King Dong Il. Ish think that Ish would choose a night with Ahmadinejad mm -hmm. because one night with Bruno and he'll be Ahmadinejad. He's like so cute. He's got that kind of taxi driver chic. Right. In my opinion, he's the cutest guy in the whole of the Middle Earth. He's like the kind of Arab George Clooney. You know, a few weeks ago, he famously said that there are no gay people in Iran. Really? So he must be very sexually frustrated. You know, the only nuclear bomb waiting to go off is underneath those gray slacks of his. <laughs> Excellent. Well, uh, I'm sure he'll be watching this, so he might yeah, be getting a great. call. Next question is submitted he's by funny. Joe Hammer with 680 digs. What do you think of the actor Sasha Baron Cohen? Familiar? Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah, you're familiar with his work? Velish finally saw the film like Borat. You know, everyone was going on about it. Borat, Borat, saw it. Right. He saw it like, whatever. Mm -hmm. Seen that, done that. Ish uh, didn't like it. Ish found it an offensive portrayal of a foreigner. Right. I mean, the guy, you know, Coven, is clearly gay. As for his wife, Ish bet Katie Holmes gets more sex than her. You know, but... He's like, meant to be a Yuda. He's a Jew. Right. You know, I should love Jewish guys. But there's like none of them in Austria. I don't know where they all went. Yeah, it's a mystery. Right on. Well, hopefully he's, he's watching this as well. Next question is submitted by 69 So Fine with 678 digs. What is this year's in religion? The last year was definitely Muslimism. That right. was a total achia. It was like over great. It was huge. But Osama has kind of really lost the plot. Mm. Like, he used to look uber cute, but at the moment he looks like a kind of homeless Santa or a dirty <laughs> wizard. As for this year's uber coolest religion, probably Pilates. Oh, okay. Hang on. That is breaking out everywhere. Okay, next question. Submitted by Ow My Kneecap with 596. Listen, keep, keep the eyes here. Stop looking at my crotch. Sorry okay? about that. It's, Let's that, try and keep this professional, distracting. right? Distracting. It's, it's very flattering, but I've got a boyfriend. I can call him up and maybe he'd be ready for a spit roast. No, but no, no. no. Oh, I'm okay. totally faithful to him. Okay. Apart from plow jobs, obviously. Apologies. Sorry okay. about that. Next question. Submitted by Ow My Kneecap with 596 digs. What's the hottest illness around now? Has swine flu gone too mainstream? And what's next year's pandemic? Well, firstly, credit due to whoever did the PR campaign for swine flu. 
I mean, that was amazing. It went global quicker than the iPod Nano. But in terms of next year's pandemic, I'm hoping that bulimia gets the comeback that it deserves. Right. Bulimia, for me, will always be number, my number one eating disorder. Like, Ish was the first Austrian to get bulimia. So that really? was in 1983, four years before Diana got it. Congratulations. Suck on that lemon, bitch. Wow. How do you feel about the new Harry Potter movie coming out? I think it's about times that Harry Potter came out. I mean, Ish knew that he was gay when I met him about four years ago in Mykonos. To be honest, you guys out there, you should warn your people to stay away from him. He gave a friend of mine a really nasty case of Quidditch. And apparently his Arschenhalle is totally covered in Hogwarts. Oh no. He seduced my friend Diesel with this magic potion. It was like one part Red Bull, two parts vodka and a roofie. Uh, apparently he doesn't have a broomstick between his legs. It's more like a toothbrush. Next question, moving on to fashion. This is submitted by Kampachi with 452 digs. What do you right, think? I love Kampachi, you know. Yeah. What do you think was Hitler's impact on military fashion? Well, basically the Austrian style World War II. And Hitler was responsible for probably the most stylish uniforms the last 3,000 years, apart from the kind of Air Malaysia, you know, male flight attendants. Right, right. I mean, you might not agree with Adolf's politics, you know, but let's not get on into that debate. You know, could be right, could be wrong. But you've got to agree that the jodpour jackboot combo is sexier than ever. In my opinion, if Hitler had given the troops more colors in their uniforms, mm -hmm. then maybe they would have raised more smiles rather than frowns when they marched through Europe. You know, personally, as for his mustache, you know, I mean, there are some people who give some... Mustache is like a bad name, like Stalin, you know, Einstein and Susan Boyle. Uh, and there are some people who look like totally great with one, you know. He really thinks that the singer Pink would look great. I don't know why he hasn't tried it yet. Right. But the thing about Hitler is he actually know the grandson of his personal assistant. Oh, okay. And apparently behind the scenes, Hitler was a real tyrant. Mm. I mean, worse than Elton, you know. In Austria, I have to put him in context, though. The size of your moustache indicates the length of your Schwanzenstrucker. I didn't know that. Yeah, that would explain why Freddie Mercury was always so happy. Right. And why Adolf was so angry all the time. Hmm. Fascinating. You've got like a kind of narrow beard all the way over. Thin, but spread. Spread yeah. out. Oh. Wide. Like a spaghetti. Exactly. Another fashion question for you. This is submitted by Awesome Thanks with 348 digs. What do you think of Crocs? Crocs, the, the shoe. The yeah, shoe. I, I believe so. There's no indication whether they're talking about the animal or the shoe, but I was just assuming. Crocs are practical, they're comfortable, they're affordable. They're basically everything I despise in a shoe. Right. The Germans knew how to police fashion properly. They like built the Berlin Wall to separate the well-dressed people from everyone else. Mm. The Crocs are niche niche. Number one rule of fashion, don't wear anything that you can buy in an airport. Good call. And treat your clothes like you would do your pet. Have them for a week, then put them in a zip-up bag, and then throw them in the Danube River. Right. Perfect. Good advice. Thank you, Bruno. Uh, submitted by RageBots. With 345 digs, what do you think about Obama's stimulus package? Well, Obama is amazing. He's an, he's an inspiration. It gives me great hope that after so many years of struggle, that somebody can finally get into the White House despite being incredibly hot. Mm -hmm. But I just wish he didn't need that beard with him. You know, Michelle, is that her name? <laughs> yes. You know, Ish hopes that there will be no more racial divisions. And instead, people can focus their prejudice on fatties and the badly dressed, of which there are so many in America. What's up? Talking big change here. Next one is submitted by Thor the Whore. You're so naughty. Get out of here. You're naughty. 314 digs. What's a better accessory for a lady in today's modern world? A gay best friend 
or an African baby? Well, forget about the little black dress. Thanks to Madonna, the little black child is this season's must-have accessory. Mm. The great thing about black children is they look great mid any outfit. Right. I mean, it is quite a struggle raising own child, you know. I mean, mine, who's called OJ, you know, he's black, which is pretty cool. He cries all the time and he does shices in his underpants, but then so did my ex-boyfriend. Vinish actually got him, you know, I actually bought him in Africa, this country, which is like a really cool place full of African-Americans. Right. I had thought of like buying a leopard, but apparently they are like really hard work. And you need to look after them like 24 seven. But my baby's like from Malawi. Uh, Ish was thinking of like getting this Somalian baby, but I'm just worried about the whole piracy thing with the Somalis, you know, Ish don't want it climbing into other people's prams and like demanding a ransom. Right, smart, good thinking. Uh, we have one more question submitted by Down10. With 260 days. What's up, downtown? Oh, but right now. <laughs> what is this season's hottest pubic hairstyle? Also, Bruno is not a fan of hair. Hmm. Nothing on the body. It's him totally hairless, apart from this really? treasure trail hair. That is, that's nice. Yeah. I, like I mean, more guys have walked down this than Fifth Avenue. <laughs> but it's essential to vax regularly. Be careful, though, because yesterday I tried to wax my own arse and hollow with a candle and it set fire to my bed. When I'm here in L.A., which I'm here for the premiere of my movie film, I used the same vaxxer as Salma Hayek. Um, I actually spoke to, well, I say vaxxer, it's actually a team that do her inner thighs. They told me that after a waxing, there's enough hair to stuff a mattress. Really? Yeah, but manscaping is important, but it's not as crucial as getting regular anal bleaching. Do you bleach your stinker? I have never done that. You've got to bleach your poop and shaft. Really? You know, my stinker, if I didn't get my arsch and Halle bleached twice a week, my stinker would resemble Louis Armstrong during a trumpet solo. Right. You know, and the great benefit is that also, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Last time, my esthetician, he was, you know, bleaching my stinker. Right. And he found the head of a Zac Efron action figure up there. Score. All right. Well, unless you have anything else to add, that kind of brings us to the end of the interview. Um, but, I mean, what do we do from here? What, what happens now? I guess that's, that's kind of in your hands. You know, you're the, you're the star with the big movie coming out. It just feels so vulnerable because I'm like, you know, I'm 19 years old and I've got like a perfect body and I've got absolutely no chlamydia or herpes. Really? Sh just feel worried what you might do to me. Well, uh, maybe, maybe we'll have to turn the cameras off uh, to conclude the interview. Right. Bruno, I'd like to thank you for being a part I of this I love you guys. It's, it's dig, dig. You guys are all by Gedanken. Gedanken, we sagen, we say in German, it's gedig, it means to dig. Is that, what does it mean in English? Um, yeah, I think it's the same thing. It's, yeah, that's you, great. You nailed it. You guys are uber cool. You guys are the best. Maximum.